you speak a little bit on today, uh, remember and Dwight Clark, the organization, what it means for you personally? Huh? Can you can you speak um, a little bit today on Dwight Clark, the organization celebrating uh, celebrating? Oh, yeah. um, team meeting this morning showed a clip of a lot of people talking about uh, Dwight and the catch and you know how it kind of changed the organization for us, like making a Super Bowl run and you know um, just an outstanding catch to get the guys to go to the Super Bowl and then they get the winner. People have talked about the way you come into camp, um, the shape you're in, the kind of the tone you're setting. What we discuss your off-season work and what was your some of your motivations? Um, one of my motivations is for sure like losing two Super Bowls. You know, um, we was always there. So in my mind, you know, I'm doing everything possible to be in the best shape, being the best player, being the best version of myself to to come back and continue to help this team go on those runs that we know we're capable of. Is there any uh, original point in your career, like, you know, it's, it's been discussed, like, we talked about tra trading you during the draft, and there's, you know, uncertainty regarding next year. Is that all part of it, too, wanting to make sure everyone knows you're still <laughs> the same guy? Um, our trade talk is trade talk. You know, um, I sat down and talked to Kyle, talked to John, and like I said earlier in the interviews, we put that behind us. That's not a thought in my mind right now, but uh, we just go out here every day, be where our feet are, and just continue to get better as a team. Think of the new kickoff rule, and are you curious to see how it goes? These um, next few weeks? I'm definitely curious because um, watching the first preseason game, it was kind of not what I thought. But I mean, that's the first time of you know seeing it live, and you know it takes practice to get where you want to be in, in any aspect of the game. But um, just watching it, I mean, there's a lot of opportunities, and I, I feel like a lot of kickoff teams going to put a lot of skill guys out there that's able to move around people and go out there and make tackles as well. So um, it teaches on. You think it's suited to your game and your style of running? Um, for sure. Um, you know, you kind of give the receiving the receiving team like a five yard cushion to block somebody, and you know anybody on this team from all the guys that touch the ball, like you, you see a crease and you just see how fast we hit it. Aside just the special teams and, and what you're doing on offense, you're very active this camp. Are you enjoying this camp? Oh yeah, camp is. Question is: Is it also bittersweet not having? BA on the field with you at the same time? Um, you know, it's kind of weird, for sure. Um, I remember last year uh, we, when we played the Giants, uh, I had went to him. I was like, bro, I, I never knew how weird it was for you not to be on the field at the same time. And, you know, the time that I was out and he was out there by himself, and it was just like, I kind of see what you feel like. kind of feel awkward with, you know, being with somebody out there for four years straight or whatever. But, um, you know, um, business is business, and you know how it goes. I guess on that same note, how much of that, you obviously went through it two years ago, how much of that has been a uh, distraction, shall I say, and how much of it is, you know, if you could tell Brandon anything, I'm sure you still talk to him, mm -hmm. um, you know, what is what is it like without your fellow comrade? Um, I still talk to him every day. Uh, he in meetings, we still chop it up, and not even about the things that's going on, but just like brother talk, you know. Um, regardless of whatever happens, you know, it's still my guy, I love him to death, you know, what he here, he there, whatever. But, um... You know, man, like I just said, like business is business and like just going out there and like I can only control the things that I can control. And so I just go out there and do the best I can at my job. Uh, how much has Diameter Lenore improved his game and how? Oh, man, his, he, <laughs> we was over there chopping it up, I think like uh, probably like two practices ago and Jawan was over there throwing the ball. He was like, man, you see I come play for receiver for real. And like his ball skills has been, been through the roof and you know what? You get better as years go. Um, you get better as years go, and the the more you see things, the more your instincts get involved. And I think it's the instincts and the ball skills through the roof right now. Have you noticed? Have you noticed a difference with him after working with uh, Brandon Staley so much this off season? Um, like I just said, with um, with time you get better, and I feel like he's he's making a leap every year. Improved the last year. It seems like he's having a great game. Uh, I, I wouldn't even say it's improved because Jawan has been the most consistent uh, receiver that we have. Um, day in and day out for his blocking, going out and making plays. That's why we call it third and one. But um, just coming in in better shape, you know, uh, ball skills got way better. And uh, every time you see Jawan out there, he's giving everything he got every route, every play. If I may ask a personal question, how much do you weigh? <laughs> Enough. <laughs> uh, is this the lightest you, you've been? In, in your um, yeah, for sure. Um, the lightest I've been since I, since I entered the league, for sure been said about just, you know, everything that you bring from receiving to running the ball, the backfield, returning. 
you're like the ultimate weapon. Do you feel that there's any part of your game that you have yet to unleash and maybe we're not ready to, to, to see yet that you've been um, working on? You know, it's crazy. I really don't know. Um, actually, uh, I never knew until Kyle put me in a position to do things I haven't never done before. So uh, you never know what he's capable of um, week in and week out. He got new, new and different things every week. So, I mean, when you guys see it, I'll see it, you know. <laughs> in the meeting room and what have you seen from him on the field? Uh, he's doing pretty good. Um, I think he got a little shoulder, got a nick. So, um, you know, it's kind of hard as a rookie, like in and out. And, you know, he came in dealing with the hamstring. But he's been more, like, dialed in on details in the meeting and doing the best he can uh, in the meeting room that, you know, that he's not able to be out of there every day. So he's kind of stand on top of everything that he's, you know, that he can. Do you notice Renardo Green at all? Does he stand out to you? Yeah, my locker mate. That's my guy. Um, <laughs> For sure, like the the attitude, his demeanor of you know who he th who he are and who he want to be in his league, and I see him every day just take leaps and leaps and leaps, and that's well, like one thing he talk about every day. He's like, man, I just want to play man to man. I don't like playing zone, but you know in this league you can't play man to man every play. But you know, uh, just a funny guy, and they just like being around him. Do you ever, uh, do you ever sit with Purdy and watch film just one on one with him? No. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> That's Kyle's job, man. Kyle, Kyle, Kyle handled the quarterbacks for sure.